What's up everybody, Pastor Matt. Thanks for checking into my YouTube channel. Well, I mentioned in the previous video when I reviewed the Ten Commandments by Peter Lightheart that I'm now doing reviews for Lexum Press, which is exciting because I haven't done any of their products before. But when they contacted me and asked me to do some reviews, one of the first books I was excited to review was this book, Piercing Heaven, Prayers of the Puritans by Robert Elmer, who's the editor of this work. And so my reviews for Lexum, of course, will be objective, my own opinions, but I do thank them for providing these books free for my honest and objective analysis. All right, so this is pretty cool. Now, I was excited about this book because I have loved prayer books for a while. In fact, it reminds me, even in the title, Prayers of the Puritans, of a couple other books that I want to mention, and then I'll do a little bit of comparison. The first is probably The Valley of Vision, which you may know. It's already quite a famous collection of Puritan prayers. And the second one is by Matthew Henry, A Way to Pray. I don't have the jacket cover on this book, but it's an excellent one nevertheless. This, this one right here is just the prayers of Scripture. So what is Piercing Heaven? Well, very much like the Valley of Vision, it's a collection of prayers from the Puritans, with one of the main differences being, whereas the Valley of Vision prayers were largely anonymous, and the author, the editor, compiler, tells you who some of them were in the back, it doesn't credit any of the actual Puritans for their prayers. This one does. So in every prayer that you're going to read, and we're going to read a sample here in just a second, you actually know who the original author of that prayer is. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, some of the sources that are quoted. And I'm just going to flip through this very quick. You've got Isaac Ambrose. You've got William Ames. You've got Richard Baxter. You've got Anne Bradstreet. You've got John Bunyan. Uh, Jeremiah Burroughs. You've got Philip Doddridge, you've got Matthew Henry, um, just surveying here, John Owen would be among the more famous, uh, George Whitfield, and so on and so forth. So one of the differences is uh, between this and the Valley Vision that each of the prayers is cited as to who the author was. So let's go ahead and read in a sample one here from Stephen Charnock. It says, Lord, is it not better to make me your friend than to let me continue as your enemy? Would you not be glorified more by raising a soul from sin than a Lazarus from the grave? Your power and mercy are shown greater by turning a dry stump into a fruitful and flourishing tree. So overcome my shameful nature by your merciful power. Change me from a venomous to a dove-like nature. I would be made happy to glorify you by becoming what I was created to be. Glorify yourself by creating my heart anew that I may glorify you in newness of life. I cannot get a new heart by my own strength, but it is not too hard for your power and it matches your promise. Amen. So you could use these prayers to spark your own prayer life. You could use these prayers in worship services and the liturgy of your church. If you do uh, written confessions of faith or confessions of sin, you could put it right into your bulletin if you wanted to. Or you could use this for family devotions if you wanted to do the same. So personal or corporate uses, about 300 pages worth of prayers. And again, all the sources are cited, unlike the Valley of Vision. And I have to be honest, I think that they have their strengths and weaknesses. On one hand, every time I read a cool prayer from the Valley of Vision, part of me wondered, well, who wrote that? That is so awesome. I want to know what the source was, and the Valley of Vision never cited its sources. But on the other hand, there was something that I appreciated about praying prayers anonymously rather than thinking of them as a particular pieces from an era. Um, I don't know. I think both of them are excellent. Let's go ahead and look at the sections. Um, so here are some of the sections of prayers. Teach me to pray. Help me ask for help. Help me through my doubts. Help me through a time of sadness and suffering. Help me endure temptation. Help me rest in God's love. I believe. Help my unbelief. Uh, take my life and let it be consecrated, etc., etc. So there are several major sections of, of prayer themes and a nice introduction to explain who some of the major players are. All right, so if you're interested in this book, Piercing Heaven, uh, compiled by Rob, uh, Robert Elmer, who's the editor, Prayers of the Puritans, I'm going to post a link to Amazon in the description of this video so you can hop right over there and get them. If you like this, it's probably because you like this and or this, and I'll tell you what, I'll post links to all three in the description. Thanks for checking in, love you lots, and we'll talk to you later.